you guys welcome back to my channel hey beach. it looks like for katie joy being sued for five million dollars by a very powerful youtuber is not enough she has been coming really relentlessly after shannon from creep show art and she has come as far as trying to dox creep show art in another creator's platform however she made a huge mistake that could give shannon the power to get rid of her channel for good but before we start do not forget to go down below and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell button so you can get notified every time i post also as a quick disclaimer i just want to remind you guys that everything we discuss here in the channel is my opinion and my opinion only not to be taken as a fact always do additional research from the information that you get here in the channel do not send any hate to the people that i'm going to be talking about in this video am i right fellow adult however i do encourage all of you to go in the comment section and let me know what do you think about the situation recently katie joy from without a crystal ball has come out to unirock's discord server in attempts to dox the creator shannon from the channel creep show art and it got really bad to the point where when shannon got more conclusive proof about the situation she felt overwhelmed to the point of deactivating her twitter account I wanted to make a video for tomorrow, but with everything that happened this week, plus the entire doxing thing, I don't think I can focus. My mind has been all over the place and I just don't think I can. However, I do want to make videos for Wednesday plus Friday, so please leave some suggestions below. Also, thank you for 342k, that's insane. Edit. Okay, so I just 343k. That's ridiculous, but I also deleted my Twitter because I was flooded with messages. Most of people people who were trying to be kind and share with me more of my information being leaked but straight up i just gotten to the point where i just said whatever and hit deactivate i'll be back at some point shortly after that katie sent a couple of creators a email and that includes shannon katie emailed me to take my video down and cc'd her youtube rep while still putting forth the narrative that she didn't say sophie was a brat despite multiple clips showing her say that because i know she's watching here's my response no feel free to cc that y'all dang this is just the first page of the email if you want you can pause to read it or you can go to my previous video where i read the entire email for you guys after this video feel welcome to go there and do so even though she deactivated her twitter she did address the situation on her most recent upload titled trisha paytas is gross and here's what she said into this video i do want to give a quick thank you to each and every person who has given me so much support during this time. A lot of you are aware of what happened between me and Without a Crystal Ball here on YouTube and how she maliciously spread personal and private information about me, leading me to deactivate my Twitter. I am currently working behind the scenes legally to take care of this problem and I am not going to be talking about it any further until I get the green light from the other people who are involved, but I just wanted to say thank you. If you have sent me a kind word, thank you. If you have DM'd me about this, if you have showed support to any of the other creators who have talked about this like Tipster, Truth Sleuths, or Drama and opinions. Seriously, thank you. It means the world to me that I have so much support with this and I don't know what else to say other than thank you. She also posted on her Instagram a voice note with updates on the email situation. Guys, just wanted to let you know, um, I did respond once again to the email Katie sent, this time forwarding it to her YouTube content manager, uh, asking if we could discuss one-on-one -on -one how she admits to maliciously sharing my docs in that email, saying it's malicious because I feel like that violates YouTube's terms of service. And I feel like something should be done about that because that's not cool. Those of you who uh, missed any of the videos going over the emails, basically Katie was uh, CCing her partner manager to say YouTube really cares about this uh, without realizing in the emails themselves, she admits to sharing my docs maliciously. Like she says it's an accident, but also says, I wanted to give this information to people who are making videos on you, Shannon. That way they can attack you. And I was like, so you maliciously shared my docs. Like the general logic of admitting I shared your docs. It was an accident, but I shared it. But I also did it so people could send you hate. Ma'am, ma'am. And you CC'd YouTube on it? I love it. I forwarded the email back to her YouTube partner manager and I said, hey, I would love to discuss how in this email she admits to sharing my private information, sharing my docs, um, and says she didn't maliciously. I would love to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. 
I've actually looked this guy up now to see part of me thought maybe she made up this partner manager and it was just like a random Google account. No, he does work for YouTube, found his LinkedIn page. So I'm going to be discussing that with him today. So we'll see what happens with that Katie. One of the most Karen things I've ever been to because she tried to call the manager on me only to not realize that she's calling the manager on herself. She also made a post on Instagram that says, Video coming soon. I would love to talk to someone at YouTube about at Without a Crystal Ball, not only doxing me, but admitting to doing so in an email that had her YouTube content manager CC'd on it. If anyone has a direct contact, please let me know. So our beautiful savage, Shannon from Crypt Show Art, is on it. And hopefully she will be the amazing soul who will find Finally, take Katie Joy out of this platform. And as I said, she made a huge mistake. She made the mistake of thinking that she can keep coming at other creators, thinking that they are just like her. No, girl, they are commentary channels. They are channels that give their opinion and do not state their opinions as facts, like you do, allegedly. So I hope Creep Show gets to talk to Katie's YouTube partner manager and show to him the kind of shenanigans she's pulling around here. Now, go down below in the comments section and let me know what do you think is going to be the outcome of this situation if you like this video please don't forget to drop a like i would really appreciate that and also go ahead now and subscribe to the channel ring the bell button so you can get notified every time i post and i'm also gonna leave all of my socials down below in the description box follow me on my socials thank you so much for watching and i see you guys in the next upload Bye,